hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you guys for coming back today's video is going to be a quick little tutorial teaching you guys how to make these super cute little vintage inspired embellishments i came across a video on youtube where she was making little vintage embellishments for junk journals and i figured i'd turn them into some halloween ones i'll have the video linked down below so you guys know what i'm talking about but I think these turned out super cute, tons of layers and stitching. You don't have to make them with the stitching if you don't know how to sew. So the one that I make with you guys, I'm not gonna stitch. But this is the first one, super cute. And then we have this one, and this one. And if you guys watched my previous video, I showed my ephemera. So I did whip out my little tickets, ended up using them. And look you guys, it's just so fun to add to bag toppers. Super cute. Let me get this one. So those are the ones that I made and I'm gonna have them right here. So that you guys can see them, oops. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make these. Like you can wake up, wake up, whip up any of your scraps and make these in like one, two, three. So what you'll need are some book pages. This is just a book that my daughter had given me that she doesn't use anymore. They don't want it anymore. So of course I used the pages. I have some like wood paneling paper from my scraps. I have some vellum scrap paper, some music scrap paper you can use any paper that you want and what else i use some gold thread just because i like the way that looks in the background you see that right there just a little touch and of course your ephemeral pieces i have these that i'm using the anna griffin and dora collection because i like the sayings i'm dropping everything you guys but this is what I use just to put a little Halloween accent on it. And as far as like the spider webs and stuff, I'm using the Casey and Company ephemera pieces. And some enamel dots and stuff like that. So what you want to do is super easy. I grab one of my little notebook, not notebook, book pages. Tear right down the middle here. Then you just take your little pieces. I want to say you separate them like that. Just leave them nice and torn. You grab your other paper and you start making your little layers. So let's say I'd want this one like this. Maybe this one like that. I want the little book, the writing to show. And tear up another little piece. Do that. So now we have three different ones. And then for this one, I'll place that one there. And then some vellum right here. I need to find, let me see if I can find another piece of scrap paper that'll go with this tons of scrap paper this is when you can use your scraps so I have this one you can do some hearts you can do a little hearts on that one and then a little hearts on this one and then I'll tear my vellum to go on both And then you have little clusters. So then I'm gonna go through my ephemera. I'm actually probably gonna try and see if I have some other little ephemera pieces that I can use here for Halloween. Since I already have that little style, I might do this one. Oh, this is cute, like a little skeleton on that one and creepy crawlers on this one i'm gonna move this to the side now what you want to do is i'm going to use haku for these 
but I did stitch on my other ones. Let me take a seat here real quick. Okay, so you wanna just base, basically build your little clusters. So I'm just gonna add some hot glue to the way I place them down. But remember, you can stitch it and it'll be just as cute. So we're gonna put this down this way, our vellum paper. And then we're gonna use this one right up here. So that is super easy. Look at this one, it's already put together, you guys. Fast and simple. So we'll do the same with this one. We're gonna put down our paper. And I love the way the paper looks all torn. And you can put these as little bag toppers. And look at that, you guys. See that? And then it's just about decorating. I keep forgetting to put the gold thread, but I'm gonna show you guys right now. So I'll put those down. And you can do this past Halloween, you can do this any way. So we're just gonna grab some gold thread. Grab however much you want. I'll just place it down right here. Let it lay there flat. And then I'm gonna put my little ephemera piece right on top of it with the glue. And then I'll cut off any excess thread that I don't want. And look, you guys, see that? And then what you wanna do is you wanna get your little enamel dots. Let me see, where did I put that pack of ephemera? Right here. This little pack comes with a bunch of spiders and like the word eek. So you can put that like over. I'm gonna add the eek word to this one. I think it's cute. Let me see. We can do the little skull head for Frightmare. And this one says creepy crawler, so we can put the little boot right here. Maybe now that you can't see the word creepy colors. And then the last little touch is some enamel dots. We have some little, we put one right there. A little, like the black one for here. And for this one, we can use a little polka, polka dot polka dot one. And then I like to, I don't know why I like doing that, but I like to do the little small ones next to the big ones. So we'll do a little gold one for that. A little gold one right here. And then another one over here. I don't know why I always do that, but I have to have like two little enamel dots together. But look, you guys, and this is without stitching, and they still come out just as cute. You guys see that? Super quick little vintage-inspired embellishments. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're going to try them out, and I will catch you on my next video. Bye, guys.